Hello dear ones, what do you know, I made it back home. And I have to say, no matter how old or humble a person's house is, it sure looks good when you get back there, don't you think? And I'm going to go, look at that, palm trees. <laughs> I'm going to go sit in the shade and chat for a while. Check it out, a rocking chair, oh, two rocking chairs on the porch. And so this looks inviting. So the topic came up, I was talking to a gentleman, and the topic came up about feeling your heart. And from the, the way the conversation was going, I got the feeling that it's not too clear sometimes, to, especially to gentlemen, what is meant by feeling the heart. And the reason for that, I think, is that um, uh, women think of it in a particular way that's not suitable sometimes for men, you know? So I'm, I'm here offering a definition of feeling the heart that's good for everyone, that will work for everyone, not just women. And here goes. Um, Bill Ballard has a free ebook called Great, The Great Awakening, and in it he talks about how his heart became activated, which I found very interesting because I'd like to do the same. Uh, he said, a, and I paraphrase, that first his heart opened. That helped. He had a relationship with the twin flame and his heart opened. And then he realized that what was really needed was for him to feel his own heart. Very cool stuff. And so because we can always do that, anyone can do that, no matter what their situation is with regard to relationships or, or any, any other variable regarding earthly life, right? So, so he decided to feel his own heart. And what he did, he actually felt, let me show you, his heart chakra. He was just aware of the sensation in his heart chakra. And he did this nonstop for a month or so, and then he, he, his heart stayed awake all the time. So it's doable. You feel the energy in your, in your heart. You can feel the physical sensation. That's what most people do. You don't have to assume that you have to feel love. On the contrary, you feel exactly what you feel in your heart at the moment. And that's how you go about your day, always feeling your heart. Now, some people are sensitive to energy. They feel the chakric energy of their heart, and that's fine too. Either way, you can feel, you can feel the emotion, as women do frequently. You can simply feel the physical feeling of your heart. You just place your awareness on your heart, okay? Or you can feel the energy of, the, of that chakra. So there's something for everybody. It doesn't matter. You just go about feeling your heart. And then eventually, your awareness of your heart supersedes your awareness of your mental activity. And that's highly helpful in this time of the shift because folks are kind of going nuts, you know? And sometimes the mind just goes crazy. And if you can feel your heart, the heart is very steady, very sane, very normal. So it's a good way to get through these, these difficult times. You can think about it in terms of geopolitical turmoil, economic problems, energy, dimensional shift, whatever it is, there's, there's a little bit of chaos hanging out, you know, in the world today. And this is a good way to get through it. Very simple. And another way is just to walk in nature, you know. If you haven't got the hard thing down, you can just go sit outside or walk in nature and it'll, it'll do the trick. And I'll tell you a story about that. I was in the Motel 6 in Barstow. Uh, it was about the night before last, right? Barstow's a, like a little desert town, a big desert town in California. And there were, in the air, there was um, dis discord. Uh, negativity in the air and it was it was ref it might have been astrological anyway it affected me because I'm very tuned into energies around me 
and um, and there were people too around that were like emanating mental vibes that that made it difficult to be happy. They were unhappy vibes. So there in the truck stop, there was a a, a gentleman with a. Um, a motorcycle. He was working on the motorcycle. He was playing really loud music. And then two doors down from me there were two ladies, possibly ladies of the night, standing outside waiting for something. And so their feeling wasn't very happy. They were pretty upset. I, I guess it's not all that it's cracked up to be, being a lady of the night. And so... <laughs> <laughs> and so then I looked down to uh, two doors down the other direction, and a gentleman came out. Mm, he had he had kind of dangerous feeling to him, and what do you know? He brought out with him a dog that was part wolf, <laughs> and and that was scary enough. And and he was being very mean to the wolf dog, <laughs> and so I went back in, and all these people's feelings came in with me, <laughs> and so. The, the thoughts, like the emotional body, became very um, roiled up about the astro. I think it was astrological. Something was going on. And it might have been the tail end of the equinox. So finally I said, this is ridiculous. I went outside, and I sat outside. And I'll tell you, on the curb, looking at the trees and the night sky and all that, and I'll tell you, the strangest thing happened. It was like... The scene before me, what I could see, like what you're seeing now, you know, me and a rocking chair and a reflection of the sky. Um, that scene that I saw there, it was shaking with the emotion of the, of the feelings of the people that I felt. So it was like, it was like this jittery um, um, video, you know. Every time the emotions of these other people would get strong in waves, the scene would go as if it, as if the hologram that we that we see in the third dimension has gotten very thin and tenuous, and and can be moved about simply by the emotions of the people. This is not so good because a lot of people aren't thinking love and light, <laughs> at least not there then, you know. <laughs> so uh, so what I did, I sat with my feet on the on the ground, and I sat as close to the earth as I could get, and I felt my heart. And what do you know? Everything was fine. And so, you know, I say from experience that it may help in your case, and you don't need to emote. You don't need to feel love. You can feel fear. You can feel whatever is there, and you can look at the natural world and sit outside, and those things will really help through these times of chaos. That's what I think. I hope it works for you as it does for me.